Greetings to each and everyone, wherever you are. It's really a blessing to be greeting you wherever you are and bringing this message of self-realization to you. Now, as you know, the name of this channel is Third Exodus Review. Therefore, I want to share with you what the Exodus is all about and how you should interpret the Bible, not as literal, not as secular history, but you must interpret the Bible with the understanding that the Bible addresses the human mind and must be interpreted psychologically. Therefore, I'm going to read a scripture for you in the Exodus story, and then I'm going to break it down for you psychologically so that it will benefit you in this time that the system have put in place certain laws to keep you grounded and to keep you limited. But I want to let you know that you have a magical self and I want to introduce you to that magical self that you would be able to use that unlimited power that you have to achieve your every desire. So I'm going to share with you from the Bible and I'm using my Bible, which is this Bible, the 66 books of magic, the overcomers Bible. And in this Bible, which there are three parts of this Bible, there's the New Testament and there's two parts of the Old Testament. And in the New Testament, there is a blank space for you to write I am or for you to write Christ or your name where the name of Jesus used to be everywhere in the Bible where that name used to be there's a blank space for you to write I am or for you to write Christ or for you to write your name and the reason why I'm saying that to you is for you to understand that the Bible is your spiritual autobiography that must be interpreted psychologically and that there was such a man who walked the earth 2,000 years ago named Jesus with special powers. When you see the word Jesus in the Bible, it's a personification of your own imagination, which is the creator in everyone. And if you believe in God, you must believe in the Bible also. And in Exodus chapter 3, it tells you that the name of God is I Am. Now, you can never say I Am and not referring to yourself. And everywhere that there is existence, and I'm speaking of human existence, everyone has to say in their language, I am rich, I am poor, I am sick, I am healthy. They always have to use that name because that's our name. Okay? Because we are a God in flesh. I'm going to share that with you so now we get to know about the 66 books of magic the overcomers bible you get to realize also that it's the new jesus bible and this is the very first time i'm sharing this bible and this particular channel okay and to be honest with you the reason for me doing so is because i really want to help my brothers and my sisters who are still trapped in secular christianity who believe that the Bible is literal and that the Bible is secular history. Especially my brothers and sisters who are followers of William Branham and who are part of the Third Exodus Assembly in Trinidad and to be going in St. Vincent and the Greenwich and to everyone all around the world. Okay? This truth is to help you. It's not to pull you down, but it's to help you. Okay? Now it says here in Exodus chapter 7, which is page 579 in my Bible, the Overcomer's Bible, 66 books of magic. It says, And the Lord said unto Moses, Now the first thing you have to realize is that the Lord is speaking of your I amness, your higher self, your innermost being. The very life that is in you. For you cannot separate God from life or life from God. God is not a man in the sky. God is the power that is in you. And you have to use that power to achieve your every desire. That is why 
you have decided to take this journey here and to learn the lesson of how to create and that's what I want to really teach you how to create so you prove and know for yourself that there is a creator and that the creator do exist within you for the kingdom of God is within you so he said, he said unto Moses now in a while I'm going to break down to you Moses okay see I have made thee a God to Pharaoh and Aaron thy brother shall be thy prophet now to understand Moses you realize that Moses actually means to be born or to be drawn out of the water now when you understand that the Bible is a great psychological drama from Genesis 1 to Revelation 22 you will realize that there is nothing that anyone would have done in the Bible from Genesis 1 to Revelation 22 that was not forced a thought or forced an idea in other words that was not forced psychological okay so it's all a great psychological drama now let me just simplify it a little bit more for you before I go on before they can be an action they first have to be a thought so they can never be an action I was first a thought I was first imagine okay that is why every message that any preacher would ever preach to you they are actually telling you what to do or what not to do but before you can do something remember it's first a thought so it's all have to do with the mind okay so when you understand Moses means to be born and to be drawn out of the water and you realize that the Bible is your spiritual autobiography then you will realize everything in the Bible is dealing with the anatomy of the body therefore it is teaching you that you are the one who was in a basket surrounded by water because most of the body is water and when he was in that place in your mother's womb surrounded by water you have not experienced the wall of Pharaoh which is the wall of your problems and your situations and your limitations okay because you haven't come to that place of expression to understand that your body is a slave to your mind so you haven't been born in that slavery as yet you're free within there okay and then you were drawn out of the water because your mother water bath had to be burst first of all okay and then the Red Sea starts playing again for you to come over into this dimension when you come into this dimension you find that as I would have said before that the body is a slave to the mind so when the Bible is telling you that you are in slavery in, uh, uh, in Egypt it is teaching you of this world and the system of this world that been placed to keep you in limitation to make you believe that you are human trying to be spiritual instead of you understanding that you are spirit having a human experience so it says here now okay and the Lord the Lord here has said that I am there so it's your inner self your intuition which is your inside teacher your higher self your God self which is the Jima in you okay that is speaking to you because it's always your innermost being that is speaking to you. For example, when a preacher says, The Lord tell me, or the Lord told me to tell you, because then Allah tell him I was doing that, and I wonder if God are free to come and talk to you for himself. <laughs> they're actually hiding from you that they mean their intuition speak to them, or their mind tell them. You understand? But you see, many times people go to church and they never really think deeply enough to ask the pastor. The pastor, when he said, The Lord speak to you, who are you speaking to? Did you who are you speaking about? Did you hear an audible voice? And if they're honest, they'll tell you no. They say that's still a small voice within them. Okay, so God is within. So God and man are one. Okay. And that's why you need to read Psalms 82 and understand that you're gonna die like a man. Nevertheless, you're gonna die like a man, though you're God. Having this experience. And it says here, I have made thee a God. To Pharaoh, no. To give those people who believe that the Bible is literal and that the Bible is secular history, to give them the benefit of the dirt. Let's say here that God was a man in the sky as they believe and was speaking to people audibly as they believe. This is, then, this is God itself saying to Moses, I've made you a God. 
to Pharaoh. If Pharaoh is a literal person, there is showing you here that God was saying he gave governance to Moses over Pharaoh, giving governance of one over another. But common sense will teach you we all have one power. The same power that put you to sleep and wake you up, the same power that put me to sleep and wake me up. There's no one in this world that have any power more than the other. And all of this power that I'm speaking about is all energy. For everything in this world is energy, vibration, and frequency. Okay, but I don't want to go into that part for you right now. Okay, I don't want to go into the metaphysical part right now. I just want to stick with more the psychological part and show you. Because the Bible is metaphysical and the Bible is, is psychological, it's esoteric and so on. And Aaron thy brother shall be thy prophet. Here it is speaking of your inner self and your outer self. For it is that self of you that would be the prophet unto you. If you understand when Habakkuk chapter 2 tells you that you must write down the vision. Make it plain and, 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 and tables, I think. If you would have a desire in this world and you believe what I am teaching you, that it is your own imagination that is creating your reality and that you can create your reality consciously, and that God is your imagination, which is the creator in man. And that is why in St. John 1 and 3, it tells you, the all things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. It is saying to you, everything that was made, it was first imagined. And everything else that ever going to be made, it had to first be imagined. But if you read the Bible and think it is telling you of a man 2,000 years ago, a man with blonde hair and blue eyes and so on, and you believe in a power outside of yourself, you believe in a God outside of yourself, you believe in a Savior outside of yourself, a healer outside of yourself, a redeemer outside of yourself, you'll miss it and you give your power away. But then, this is the challenge I'm giving to you to show you what I'm teaching is not theory, it's practical. You have a desire, any desire that you have in this world, no one knows. Only you alone know, if you listen to me, okay? You write down that desire that you would like to see manifest in your life. According to Habakkuk chapter 2, write down the vision. And Habakkuk tells you, do the vision tarry, wait for it, because it is sure. Because and it is for appointed time, teaching you the love gestation, everything about time and everything about season, teaching you that you are a visionary, teaching you that you have to see things through the eye of God, which is through your mind's eye, through the eye of imagination. That's how everything in this world has been created. You have to see it first as an image within. And then you'll be able to contact it by the five senses. Then you'll understand what the Bible says. And the word became flesh. And we have limit which you can contact it now with your five senses. So I'm teaching you how to operate in the inner world. So here in the scripture, it is showing you how you will come to the realization of your I amness. The Lord who would speak to you and tell you that you have made you a God over your situations because Pharaoh represents your situation and your circumstances. So when you understand that Pharaoh represents your, your situation and the circumstances and the system that is set up to keep you bound and limited, then you would understand that is showing you that you will triumph and reign over all of your situations that you will understand the law of cause and effect that every effect of a cause and every cause has an effect and you understand also that man is not the creatures of circumstances but circumstances are the creatures of man when you come to realize that it is your own thought that is creating your reality and that you can create your reality consciously then you will understand what the scripture is saying here that you've been a god to Pharaoh it is you ruling and reigning over your situations. So right now they give you things like Corona, which is actually a pandemic. It's a scamdemic. And preachers making a, a ton load of noise and saying they're preaching and talking about last days and so on. Those in, in, who believe in message talk about squeeze and so on. But none of them is providing the remedy. The remedy that I'm giving to you is to use your mind power to achieve your every desire. You have to come to understand that God is your imagination and use your imagination to create your reality consciously. 
because everyone in this world is connected. So there's no one have no power than you, so the government have no power on you, over you. The Queen in England have no power over you. The Pope in the Vatican have no power over you. But we see all those people who've been trapped in secular Christianity and who've been trapped in the different denomination and so on, right? They've been made to a mass going to their so-called worship because they fail to realize that this is really the house of God and this is the temple of God and that the kingdom of God is within. And these are the same people who, for example, all the people in Trinidad and Tobago, who all who claim to be bright, they have to wear masks according to what the Prime Minister says. But just imagine, if you understood that this age that we're living in is actually a digital age and not the industrial age, because I'll do another video concerning how, how the people have been trapped in the industrial age. Then you let them prepare yourself for the digital age and move on so then you can walk from home and you can you don't have to go out and put a mask on your face and say, well, you have to do it because um, your workplace requires, requires it. Then you're giving your power away because the, the very Bible in Deuteronomy 28 tells you, you're supposed to be the lender and not the borrower. You're supposed to be the head and not the tail. You're supposed to be above and not beneath. And that is why since I leave the so-called message where they were teaching secular history and teaching the Bible as if it is, as if it is literal, I would have left all this assembly have elevated to a high place. Okay, this book that I'm holding here, which is 66 books of magic, which is my Bible, this is my name. If you look at it, you see my name right there. Okay. You realize, you see, the Bible is there for everyone to benefit from. But the only people who do not want to benefit from the Bible are mostly likely black people who have been brainwashed and who believe that the Bible is some holy book written many years ago and that these men were inspired but yet they do not believe that the people who made the computer who gave us the internet, they were inspired just the same those who give you money, they were inspired just the same. It's the same power. It's the same inspiration. And it all had to first be a thought. It had to first be imagined. Now, I could, not, I could not have written those books unless I was first inspired. It had to first be a thought. It had to first be imagined. It's all psychological. So my brother and my sister, it's time for us to wake up and be honest with ourselves. And that's why I'm bringing this message to you. It's to help you to wake up and to embrace your higher self. Believe in yourself. Do not believe in a power outside of yourself. Do not believe in some man outside of yourself. Do not believe in a pastor, a, a apostle, as you call them, or a prophet. All these are qualities that are in you also that you have to discover for yourself. Everything is within you. All the criticism of life is within you. You want to find the phenomenon of life? Look within. Everything is within. You're searching to find yourself. Why? Because you're born into this world in a state of forgetfulness called amnesia. And you're seeking to know who you are. And that is why the universal question of life is who am I? And when the answer coming must be I am that I am. Which is to say I am whatever I believe myself to be for as a man thinketh in his heart. So is he. So you be the Moses today who would be the God over fear, over your situation, over the problem, over whatever is going on right now. If you're in Trinidad to be and you've been in the message, and if you're still in the message and you're hearing me, I am telling you to take authority by believing in yourself. Take back your power and stop give your power to entity outside of yourself. So with that being said, my brother and my sister, I want to say I love you very much and I continue to bring this message of encouragement to you at this time to strengthen you because if you believe in such a thing as a squeeze, there must be a way to escape this squeeze. And I'm saying to you, you have to learn to use your mind power to achieve your every desire. Be a God and live like a God. Really like a God. So with that being said, I want to say peace. Love you all. I'm out.